morning guys and today our topic is law of cosine or it is called a uh, lambert law so prior to uh, start i am going to show you a practical uh, video clips so that you can understand the phenomenon okay uh, guys just see Okay, and now I am going to uh, uh, discuss on this phenomenon and how could I reach the uh, law, cosine law, the Lambert law. Okay. Uh, this is uh, cosine law. Uh, it tells that the statement says that the law states that the illumination at a point on a plane is proportional to the cosine of the angle of light incident okay the angle between the direction of the incident light and the normal uh, to the plane okay so it should be coming to the normal then it's coming equal to to i theta which is divided by the theta because which angle it is coming and by b square into cos theta okay because if i go straight then another way but if the light light is uh, inclining on on this uh, plane which is not perpendicular then it happens uh, we are declaring that it is a, a point source but in case uh, in practical case we are getting so many sources you know, uh, a lots of point source so it happens for all source so because uh, lots of when we are analysis is yes, then we are getting only one point source but when we are getting getting the uh, source of uh, uh, point source uh, many uh, lots of points of thing. we are also think that that in this beam there is so many sources of uh, points source are there it is it is a cumulation of of uh, point source okay so uh, the law is applicable for each point and okay but now where theta i theta theta is the luminous intensity it is of the source. Why it is theta? I theta, it is not a part, uh, individual theta, it is the prefix I theta. Okay. Hey, theta is denoting which angle it is, it is incidence. Is, uh, it incident. And the I theta is the luminous intensity of the source in the direction of the, the illuminated point. Okay. The theta is the angle between the normal to the plane look just like the picture theta is the angle angle look theta is the just angle between the normal and and to the plane okay and the containing the luminous uh, illuminated point and the line joining the source to the illuminated point and d is the distance to the the illuminated point okay so this is the our picture uh, this is a physical diagram only. Okay. Uh, if we go for the next, then. But for the non point source, the cosine law of the illumination, illuminance can be analyzed in the term of illumination flux instead of illumination, illumination, 
uh, illumination intensity okay the look here the luminance or the surface density of of light flux received by a like uh, illuminatory area with the respect to the the light flux okay the now it is coming look here the maximum illuminance is occurs when the element of the area uh, re uh, receives the light flux normal to its surface so maximum illuminance occurs when it is coming on the surface at a perpendicular angle okay a perpendicular it should be a perpendicular but means it should be a normal okay and then we get the high intensity i will show you explain it uh, one by one just uh, we are getting for the the statesman and theoretical part okay when the element of the area is filled with respect to the direction of the light flux the luminance or the flux density on the elementary at its surface okay it is saying that uh, it is uh, when the element of the area is is tilted with respect to the direction of the light flux the illuminance of flux density on the elementary surface is so if you tilt we get if you tilt tilt then we get some angle this can be happens or think of in a two ways okay what happens if we do this in this uh, uh, phenomenon we can it can be happens in two way first one is that at the light source became a tilt or surface became a steady or light source became steady and the surface uh, is uh, getting tilt then in two way we have to go analyze this, this phenomenon look the tilt eliminatory area say del a a, a uh, cannot or intercept all light flux it previously received and so the illuminance falls okay and in a case two if the eliminatory area del a look del a just a tilt del a is just tilt then the illumination happens just like this okay just look in second case what happens the say this is the area what happens it is uh, going to the flux is going in this direction whenever we are tilted by some theta some of flux not incidence on the then area but if we if we then think that that is the flux del a is the just del a by cos theta then some of the flux tilt on uh, incidence on this area okay now for case 1 look for case 1 when the element is when the element is tilted by a, an angle del theta the amount of flux the amount of flux intercept del theta as a del a, a, a is the given by phi dash equal to phi by del a into 2 that is del a cos theta equal to phi cos theta okay This is the main thing. This is the phi cos theta. So the flux received by a del a area is reduced by a factor of cos theta. Look, this factor of cos theta. This is saying that this is the factor of cos theta. Okay. So the flux received by the del a is reduced by a factor of cos theta. so illumination must be reduced so now the illuminations at the del a is e dash equal to phi dash by del uh, a equal to phi by del a into cos theta where is we can say this is the maximum because perpendicular that is the e max into cos phi this is the uh, main thing uh, of this law that is called lambert law or the cosine law so if the angle became zero then we are getting maximum because uh, 
angel zero means since it is coming it is perpendicular to zero not the surface to zero just remember i am saying that i am saying that just like this is the surface and this is the perpendicular so i am I have no scale and that's why it is going look this is the surface so this is the surface this is the surface uh, you can realize this okay and this is the normal this is the normal which is 90 degree and we are saying that that's uh, theory is saying that the system is saying that how much angle with the normal? How much angle with the normal? Okay, this is the theta. If you, so if this is the zero with the normal means it is coming actually, the, this is. And if this is directly 90 degree in this way, in way, if it light is coming in surface, say torch is coming or the light is coming, source is coming in this way, okay. The maximum of light is not getting to intersect. If the torch is here, if the light is here, say uh, another another color, if the light is torch is there, the light is coming in this way. Then what happens? If, uh, I think you all have uh, have seen the video. Now in this case, in this case, it is absolutely zero degree with this perpendicular and it is absolutely uh, 90 degree with, with the normal okay so what happens we know theta equal to zero degree means cos theta equal to one okay and theta equal to 90 degree means cos theta equal to zero so what happens if say in this case in this case here is the light intensity i am showing another color look if light is coming in this direction here is the normal is normal is here so this is theta equal to zero degree with the normal theta equal to zero degree with the normal so it is so it is coming E max, max means uh, in, uh, illuminance is the maximum. But but if it is coming, it is coming. Say in say it is coming forty five degree. Then theta will be another. So it will get some factorial part and it will multiply with the maximum. So maximum uh, emac it will be reduced illuminance reduced was from from some of part of the maximum if it is coming just like say 90 degree with this normal means just in this way then at least uh, at almost no flux will be uh, intercept with this surface so what happens this is 90 degree this is 90 degree then we are getting zero zero illuminance this is the this is the cos cosine law of illuminance and this is called lambert law if we go for the video if we go for the video you can just see this okay i'm i i'm again going to the same thing please uh, just okay Look, guys, you can, we can see what happens. We can see if the light is coming in this point, light is in this coming in this point. So it is if it is surface, if it, we are getting some surface, uh, say this is the point A, this is the point A. Okay, one minute, just come on.